friends welcome back to easy to learn tech and thank you for watching all my previous video if you're watching my video first time please like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the little latest notification of my video and in today's video we are going to talk about whirlpool inverter air conditioning error code and their solution as all of us know if we know the proper error code and their proper solution it make us easy to do the troubleshooting and make our unit work faster and if we know the error code and their solution it will also take less time to do the troubleshooting and see the video till the last to get all the error codes of whirlpool air conditioning and their proper solution without wasting our time let's start our video and see all the error codes and their solution Let's see the first error code. When you see in your display UA, it means setting error. It means our indoor unit and the outdoor unit is abnormal. The model which we have installed for the indoor and outdoor are not matching. At the time, first of all, before installation, you have to check the indoor and the outdoor are of the same model and the same capacity. If it varies, if our indoor is different and our outdoor is different, at that time it will show this error because the setting what company has set in indoor and outdoor it doesn't match when we install different model and different capacity of our indoor and outdoor unit at that time you have to be very careful before installation you have to check the unit if indoor and outdoor both are same model and same capacity or not if they are different then you will get this error let's see the next error code when you see in your display e6 it means communication malfunctioning First of all, you have to queue the power and check the indoor PCB and the outdoor PCB if the power is coming to our indoor and outdoor PCB or not. If the power is not coming, then you have to check for the indoor PCB. If the indoor power supply is not coming, then you have to check the power supply why it is not coming. Then you have to check for the outdoor unit. And if both the PCB are getting the power, then also you are getting the same error. Then you have to check the cable between indoor and outdoor if it is cut or broken or it is not tied properly. Then you have to do that necessary. Then you have to check. Put on the power and check the out supply of our communication cable from our indoor unit. It should be between 13 DC volt to 24 DC volt. If it is giving 13 to 24 DC volt, it means our indoor PC is okay. Then same you have to check in our outdoor PCB. The out supply should be between 13 to 24 DC volt in our communication cable. If it is not giving so, then our outdoor PCB is faulty. Need to change the outdoor PCB. Our unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display PL, it means DC input voltage is too low. When our outdoor PCB is not giving proper DC voltage, that time it will show this error. You have to change the outdoor PCB and your unit will be in working condition because if our outdoor PCB is not giving proper supply of DC voltage, at that time we have to change the PCB. We can't do any changes on our PCB. If you can repair the PCB and you can install, it will be good. But even if we repair the inverter PCB after some time it get the same error so instead of repairing the PCB just change that PCB and your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your display pH it means DC input voltage is too high when our air inverter air conditioning the voltage of our outdoor PCB if the DC voltage is high or low at the time it will not work properly because our inverter air conditioning totally depend on our DC voltage. If our DC voltage is not normal, that time our unit will not work. When you get this error pH, you have to change the outdoor PCB and your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see F0, it means lack of freon or block protection. In maximum cases, when we brace the copper piping at that time, our copper piping get blockage at the time it can show this error because the refrigerant flow will be abnormal and this will show this error and even when we have the leakage in our air conditioning our refrigerant is low at the time also you will get this error F0 to avoid this you have to flush the refrigerant piping after brazing the copper pipe and even you have to check the back pressure of our refrigerant if the back pressure is low then you have to make according to the refrigerant required the back pressure should be the according to the refrigerant if the back pressure is normal you can get the solution for this error f0 and if there is no blockage in your piping at that time also you will get the solution for this error f0 
Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display P7, it means temperature sensor malfunctioning in our indoor unit. First of all, you have to check the placement of our temperature sensor. If the placement is not good, place it in proper place. Then you have to check the wire which is going from the sensor to our PCB. It is cut or if it is broken or not. If it is not broken, then you have to check the connection in our indoor PCB if it is properly connected or not. If it is not properly connected, connect it properly. Then you have to check the resistance of our sensor. If the resistance is not good, it means our sensor is faulty need to change the temperature sensor if the resistance is good then you have to check the out supply of our pcb if the out supply given to our sensor is good or not if it is not good then you have to change the indoor pcb our unit will get the solution for this error p7 let's see the next error code when you see in your auto display f4 it means break circuit and short circuit of outdoor condenser temperature sensor Directly you have to check the temperature sensor which is just installed backside of our condenser coil. Just you have to change the sensor and you will get the solution for the error F4. Because if it is short circuit or if it is break circuit at the time we can't do anything. Just we have to change our temperature sensor which is just installed backside of our condenser coil. Our unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display F7 in our outdoor unit, it means ambient temperature sensor malfunctioning. First of all, you have to check the placement of our sensor if the placement is good or not. Then you have to check the connection in our outdoor PCB if the connection of our sensor to the PCB is good or not. Then you have to check the cable between our sensor and the PCB if it is cut or if it is broken or not. If it is not broken, then you have to check the resistance of our temperature sensor. If the resistance is good, it means our sensor is good. Then you have to check the outdoor PCB. If the outdoor PCB is not giving proper out supply for our ambient temperature sensor, it means our outdoor PC is faulty, need to change the outdoor PCB. If our resistance of our temperature sensor is not good, then you have to change the sensor, your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see H6 in our indoor unit, it means our indoor fan motor, the feedback is not coming for, from our indoor fan motor. At the time when our feedback of our indoor fan motor is not coming to our PCB, it can't read the RPM of our fan motor. So we have to change our indoor fan motor and you will get the solution for the error H6 and your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display F2, it means indoor pipe temperature sensor malfunctioning. Sometimes when we do the servicing, at that time we forget to connect our sensor properly in our indoor PCB or sometimes we doesn't put in proper place at the time we can get this error F2. You have to be careful after servicing, place the sensor in its proper place and check the connection in our indoor PCB if our sensor is properly connected or not. If it is properly connected and if it is properly placed in the same place and even if you are getting same error then you have to check the resistance of our sensor if the resistance is good or not. If the resistance is okay then you have to check the out supply of our indoor PCB if the out supply to our sensor is coming perfectly or not. If the out supply is not coming perfectly then you, it means our indoor PCB is faulty. Need to change the indoor PCB your unit will be in working condition.